So we have a mail day episode. Um, let's see, where do I start? Um, yeah, I cannot show you this letter. The first thing is, uh, letter is from Marcia. She sent me a theme, woman, women on stamps. A lot of these stamps were from 2017 and you know, I get to play around with my UV light again, she says, because there should be uh, the words Canada 150 somewhere. Um, like I said, it's it stems from 2017, 1867. That's the Dominion of Canada. Well, that Canada was actually uh, formed as we know it now. There's also some really wonderful stamps um, that Jeff sent me uh, that shows four stamps uh, how Canada came to be. She included a few scans uh, so you can see some of the stamps from the greetings and po picture postage area. As I understand, it's more of a way of personalizing your stamps, but it's a really creative way. It's, I think it started in 1994 and it is discontinued in 2000 or 2002. Uh, I'm not sure, but she also wrote a complete, and I can show this, a complete, you know, what's on the... Let's see if this is... You can see it, it's these... See, she included a few of those. She made some scans and she explained it. It's, uh, these little neat stamps. Some of these you can personalize. It's like a frame and you can put something in it yourself. It's, uh, it's really interesting and it seems that there's so many of these that it's, you know, really hard to figure out or that, it, that there's not even a catalog of it. I did see a website picturepostage.net that explains a few things. So, but see, actually goes through all these, yeah, things here. You can have a look of. You can put your things in here. Sorry, I don't explain it maybe too well, but. I think in a way, you know, a lot of countries did personalized uh, things, uh, stamps, or, you know, I think also in a way to keep stamps interesting, I guess. Um, it's really, it's really interesting how you can personalize your stamps this way. Okay, and what she sent me also, well, I should actually... Her address is not here, it's just uh, from the post office. It's beautiful stamps again. Uh, this is from the Hunted Women, I believe. Oh, I, I read it very fast, what's on the cover of it. Yeah, it's a, which series is it? Sorry, I keep forgetting it. It's just, uh, yeah, Ghost, uh, Ghost of the Well. It's, uh, yeah, I really like these series it's like uh it says yeah haunted canada le canada haunté yeah it says it's really hard to see so and this is one of the newest stamps i believe marianne shed so but she wrote of all the stamps she sent including on the cover um you know what they have done just briefly in the year you know a really she put, put in a lot of work. Yeah, and she sent me some. Is this from f from Far and White? Or how is it called? Uh, the series. Oh, Queen. Yeah, it's just it's these little, very little small stamps. Very cute. This one is out there. Off the back. Really. It's really nice. So these are all pretty much all women on stamps. Yeah, I've I've uh, looked her up. Uh, Buffy Sainte Marie. Um, I think she's indigenous. Uh, or yeah, it's not really like it's a bad thing. I don't know how that. But sorry, it's yeah. She did a cover of Donovan's uh, Scottish singer songwriter folk singer. Uh, Universal Soldier, it's a really nice uh, video on YouTube because I was curious what kind of music she made. I think she has her own music too, so but uh, that's the only thing I checked out until now. You can see these beautiful stamps. It's just, uh, 
And she wrote of all these stamps, as you've seen, you know, a bit about it. So this is already nice with the, what is, is it called, Selvage? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I really like this stamp. This is last, end of last year. Chloe Cooley, I think she, yeah, it's like, a, has to do with slavery that she stood up against it. And I don't know. I, the thing is, for some of these stamps, I already um, check what the story was, but sometimes, you know, I can't remember. This is, these, this is beautiful colors. Is it actually in frame? I hope so, yeah. This one I do know. It's beautiful stamps. And I think in the future episodes, when I show uh, my Canada collection in the album, we're going through, um, you know, what this, you know, more in depth about the stamp, about the story. So, KD Lang, I know her song Concert Craving was a big hit, I believe. Also, a very beautiful stamp, this. This too, British flag, Molly Brand. Yeah, very, very beautiful stamps. Thank you, Marsha. You shouldn't have sent me this, you know. It was uh, Shania Twain. I think she's well known too. Do, 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 do. Well, I think everybody knows that thing. She's an actress, I believe. I looked that up too. Yeah, there's a lot of these names, Katie Lang, Shania Twain, I think most people know these names, but a lot of these, I don't know, it's just a very Canadian thing, I believe, or maybe North American, or maybe, so there's a lot to learn here. Okay, and the next um, letter is from Ken, and that's Ken of Ken's stamp collection. I really love his channel. We agreed that I'm gonna send him some Dutch definitives. So, um, but yeah, I'm not sure how this came to be, but uh, um, but see, he says, dear Chris, keep up the good work. I hope I found some good things for you. All the best, Ken. So that's really lovely. So some really nice US stamps. Really happy with those. It's really nice that these are together. Really cool. And he, this is a 9082 uh, USA the Netherlands stamp. Well, our flags are pretty similar as in the same color. So that makes it easier to make a stamp, I guess. But it's uh, actually celebrating, I, I think, 200 years that we, I don't know, our allies or know each other or whatever. But, uh, 7082, 9082. So it's uh, by Centenary. It's also a uh, nice Christmas stamp. I really like it. It's Alaska Highway 9042. It's a really cool stamp. So thank you, Ken. Ken, sorry. And this is really funny. This is a very small envelope and it's sent to Berkeley, California for. Netherlands sense, Gilden sense. We have sense now too, but it's tied to the euro. There's nothing in it, but uh, it, it is a very interesting, it's very cute. Oh yeah, I know how this came to be. I already know it's because of, no, it's not this. We're gonna see the St. Lawrence stamp in a bit um, in the previous, one of the previous episodes. Um, the Canadian um, stamps. There was this um, St. Lawrence, uh, the opening of St. Lawrence uh, Seaway um, it was, is really important to the US and to Canada. Oh, that's a really nice long stamp. Let's continue. I know, I've, I've, I've checked briefly, I know the, the, the St. Lawrence uh, Seaway um, stamp is here. Oh, it's here. <laughs> um, I really love the U.S. terms. Oh, this is Yorktown. It's just 
yeah, and we're not going into detail today about what's on it. And I didn't prepare it as much. I will do that in the future. It's really, really cool project Mercure. It's uh, really nice stems. So it says Germany, and I see a Germania stamp already. I have a few of these also of uh, the Germania, but it's also the German Empire, some stamps. I don't think I have these. I have more modern uh, Germany, I have to say. One mark, some of these Germania. Is this a smaller? Oh, it looks smaller. Uh, and Ken has also uh, a video about Ger Germania uh, stamps. It's like the varieties and uh, also it's these, uh, how you call the Krieg stamp. It's like Krieg is a uh, German word for war. It's these war issues that are a bit more pale and then less uh, vibrant, I believe. And then there's these peacetime um, Germanias. So, um, but he did a wonderful uh, video about this. Um, not sure if it's making sense of German stamps. Could be that episode, but it could also be that he has a, a separate episode about the Germanias. So thank you, Ken. It's just lovely. It's, um, I really like these. And here, not sure if you can really see it on camera. Feels a bit that's what I was talking about, that this is actually the variety about 75 Fennig, um, and one is clearer than the other, so one might be the the war issue, might be this one, but it's really hard to see. I think the, the war issue are less, less clearer. And then we have these, and it took me a while actually to realize that he sent me some Penny Reds. And also with a, an, an, um, how do you call that? Numeral um, date, uh, or not date stamp, but I think it's linked to post offices. Uh, offices. But thank you for the penny reds. It's, it's really something I want to do. I think I have three or four of them uh, myself. It's really nice uh, to get all the plates well. I'm not can probably not gonna get plate 77 I believe because that's pretty rare there's only seven of them known to exist I believe and plate 255 is very rare too I believe because it's a last printing plate and it was not used full uh, used in full I believe well all these stamps are beautiful since the United States it's really small but it's just a uh, nice engravings probably the same series this the one cent, the boat. This is really, yeah, you don't see a lot of yellow stamps, but it's because it's often very hard to see. It's also a British stamp. It's really interesting too that it's like not this way, but this. And it's Liverpool, stamp in Liverpool, uh, cancelled. And I like these Australian stamps too. He asked me, yeah, what are you collecting nowadays? It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in so many things and I'm interested in Australian stamps too. And also in New Zealand stamps and, you know, I want to do too much, that's, that's the thing. But I shouldn't, I shouldn't choose too much. It's a Peace Bridge, 1927 to 77. Um, in 1977, there was also a stamp, Canadian stamp, um, that was celebrating the 50th anniversary, I believe, was it? Yeah, so yeah, it's, uh, it's really cool that he put it in there, maybe you've seen the episode that, you know, there's also an uh, American version of it, and this is the St. Lawrence Seaway, um, it looks actually similar, uh, I put it, I show it now on the screen, Looks a bit similar. Yeah, this is the US version of the opening of the St. Lawrence Seaway. Yeah, and I didn't, like Ken said, I didn't, it didn't occur to me that there was a US version of the stamp also. Uh, but why wouldn't there be? Yeah? So, so. 
Yeah, really nice stems. Then here when I'm looking at it, it looks like both the two scents from Australia, but it looks a bit, it's a bit lighter, a bit more familiar, this more carmine. Uh, that's all always a bit hard with the, with these colors. It's, uh, but yeah, Ken, thank you very much for uh, sending me this wonderful package. And then last but not least, it's this envelope from um, Jeff. Wonderful stamps again. I love these stamps. I think they're 90, no, 2023. Yeah, 2023, I think, issue. And this one, I believe, too, Mona Parsons. Marsha actually sent me, like, a, a new newspaper. I think I have it somewhere. Hang on. It's about here. Um, stamp Honors War Hero from Nova Scotia. It's really a Canadian woman who was imprisoned in Germany for helping downed airmen escape from uh, back to England during the Nazi occupation of the Netherlands. Will have her legacy remembered forever on a Canadia, Can sorry, Canada Post Remembrance Day stamp. So that's really cool. She, she gave me, she sent me this months ago. Or Yeah, it's a... Uh, and here's the St. Lawrence Seaway, I believe. Yeah, inverted seaway. Oh, this is... Here we have it. Yeah. So it actually does look similar or it's actually the same. But just... Let's compare them. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, this is a... But yeah, nice envelope. Thank you, Jeff, once again. I sent Jeff some uh, German stamps on paper. Um, yeah, and then in return he sent me something back. Yeah, he shouldn't have done that, but hey, I'm thankful really about this. Uh, a few Canada and USA for you to hopefully enjoy. The photo on this card is about 10 minutes from my home. <clears throat> Sharing the joy of stamps, and that's actually what a lot of these stamp channels do, and I hope I will do that too. It's really... It's interesting that this feels so different from that, that it's a completely different landscape, but yeah, it's really nice. I have your other card, I believe, in my Canada album, so, but you will see that at some point. Yeah, these are also wonderful stamps. I, I, I went through them fast uh, last weekend because, um, yeah, that's sometimes all the time I have. Some US stamps, but this is the engraving is just beautiful. It's just it's like oh, these US stamps here. It's like I haven't taken them out at all. It's just look at this. Is this a cork? I think this is a cork uh, cancellation, isn't it? I believe so. Yeah, that postmasters uh, were allowed or just making own their own cancellations. Hope I get them back in. Yeah, it's just Canada Post Office. Is this a special or something? Is this a postage? No, is it? I don't know. Really nice. I love these. It's also a bit more yellowish. Ochre, I'm not sure if there's a color in uh, in English. This is Victoria, should be, shouldn't be, 1837, 1897, yeah. It's also really, I love these stamps. My God, this will have... Will power my Canada collection so much. These are US stamps. The blue one is, they're all so nice, but it's. Can I get the blue one out? The purple one is nice too. 
generally blue works really good with stamps doesn't it it's like blue nose it's also the Cartier 1937 stamp from Canada it's also really nice so this doesn't work really too well let's put, do it like this so see and some more US stamps not getting them all out some point I will work on my US collection and uh, we'll get to see these. I will give them a bit more room in the album so we can have a look at them. Yeah. But for now, thank you everyone for sending me this. Jeff, Ken, Marsha. It's just wonderful. It's just. Uh, yeah, this community just surprises me. It's just in, in the best possible way. And I'm just sending some stamps off that are not really special. And I'm getting this back. This is just premium stuff. It's just from all of you three. It's just, you know, I didn't expect anything in return. But this is the episode that shows, yeah, how wonderful this is. And I do hope I can return it in some way. Thank you for watching.